Hey there! Today I will be reviewing Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This is actually a book that I've been reading before the book club started, but I did also download the audiobook. Anywho, on to the review. So first and foremost, what's there not to like? Honestly, this is basically pop culture nostalgia for every fanboy, girl, geeks, nerd, gamers, and movie buffs. Like, this is the holy grail of pop culture. It literally touches bases with everyone and everything that you can possibly think of. Except maybe sports. Who cares about sports, honestly. <laughs> what this book reminded me of fully was Willy Wonka meets the Matrix and like they combined the storyline and made this just freaking awesome book with everything you can imagine pop culture wise like it's just the references are insane insane like so many references so many freaking <laughs> references the 80s seem to be the biggest hit in this book as far as favorite characters go i really enjoyed my main man made uh, aka parzival he was pretty pretty legit he, he was so smart it really resonated with me because like, his personality it was very similar to mine, I guess you can say, and I really enjoyed that connectivity with that character. What I liked about him is his thoroughness, his ability to um, throw himself into this, you know, this world. Being able to just, for one, memorize the entire decade of the 80s is just beyond me, you know. He memorized entire freaking scripts from entire freaking movies, and I mean, that there is something to be com uh, commended, honestly. So on to the rest of the characters. Artemis is dope AF, like literally the dopest chick ever, and I really wish I could be her. She's just awesome. And Choto and Daimo, oh my god, you know how much I squealed in pure giddiness that they threw in Japanese people in there because the Japanese people are awesome. I adore Japanese culture. They just throw you in there with so many, so many things that, you know, it's impossible for you not to fall into a, a niche that you'll like in this book because you will. You, you will find something. And then, of course, there's H. I love the way they spelled her, the, his name, her name, when finding out that he is a she. <laughs> She's a Banff. If anyone were to be put into the CIA or be a secret ass spy, it'd be her because honestly no one was able to find out who she was until the end of the freaking book. <laughs> not even not even an inkling of who she was until the end of the freaking book. I had no idea that that was another tw twist and turn that I was not expecting. The twists and the turns had me on edge like literally from the very beginning. Just the storyline, how it started, really, really grabbed my attention. Going in, I had I had no idea what I was gonna uh, read. I honestly, I didn't have any expectations. I, I had this book for over a year, and I never touched it. Truthfully, I saw the trailer for the movie. Once I saw everything that was in that trailer, I went, Whoa, I was sleeping on this. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people have been sleeping on this book. And it, it, it just, it's just, people need to know how great this book is. When I started reading, I was like, oh wow, this is really interesting. And then when they explained the whole egg hunt, the whole Gunter thing, the whole Sixers stuff, it all just like, oh, this is, this is getting really good. This is getting really interesting. Because I just imagine being there, right? Like, just imagine having the power to be anyone you want to be mind-blowing to be able to just jump into a movie like be able to act out their favorite scenes from beginning to end i really love that a big moment in the book that really made me not be able to put it down again was when he had that meeting with the head honcho and that guy literally killed his whole family and i was like holy shit they went there they went there <laughs> i really didn't expect it to go there and they did and i was like oh god this book is gonna be way more than i anticipated everyone he knew family wise is just dead it really you know didn't didn't have time to even feel emotion because right after that he just had to go in full recon mode and figure shit out and now at that point he knew that he, there was no going back game was real it was happening just just so many things that this book throws at you the entire book from beginning to end was awesome i recommend this book 100% so anyways i feel like giant obscure japanese robots suspense 
Easter eggs, Joust, Pac-Man, Romance, Revenge, Adventure, the ultimate pop culture extravaganza. If any of that remotely interests you, Ready Player One. Read it. Live it. Love it. Peace out.